Thank you. Um, thank you all for being here. Uh, as you just heard, my name is Ben Krupp and I work with Dr. Ki Young Han. I'm a student in the Optics College at Creole here at UCF. Um, we work in the nanoscopy lab, which means that we apply high resolution, high precision microscopy techniques to biological samples. Uh, we do a variety of samples in our lab. My research focuses on proteins and the use of the single molecule pull down assay or the simple assay. So with this uh, technique, what we do is we have a set of antibodies that we use to grab a protein of interest out of a solution uh, that grabs it and tethers it to a microscope slide. We then use a second set of antibodies which have a fluorescent molecule attached to them to then uh, also bind to that same protein molecule and label with that fluorescent molecule. So then when we image it in the microscope, it's a little bit difficult to see, but there's a picture here on the right. Um, we excite the sample with a laser and those molecules then fluoresce. It looks kind of like stars, but it's a little difficult to see here. Um, and so we can do a number of things with this technique. The first and most easiest to explain is that it's the trace detection of proteins down to the nanomolar or picomolar level. Uh, additionally, we can look at the brightness or intensity of each spot to see how many proteins are interacting with one another in one protein complex. So we've been working to apply this technique to Parkinson's disease and the specific protein associated with the onset and progression with Parkinson's. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with Parkinson's or have been affected in one way or the other with, by Parkinson's. And it's a notoriously difficult disease to diagnose. Currently, there's no way to accurately diagnose it until the patient has passed away. And then you can look at their brain in a post-mortem biopsy sample. What we want to do is develop the simple technique to uh, use as a, uh, a technique to to diagnose Parkinson's from a simple blood draw, so you don't need to really worry about any complications. Um, yeah, so that's the main purpose of my research. If you have any questions or would like to discuss more about what the other research we do in our lab, I'd be happy to talk with you afterwards during the post-presentation. Thank you. Thank you.